Hey guys, Jess Halleck here. Here is our top tip for placing a halo. This is always a common issue if you're struggling, so I wanted to show you a perfect example that might be what you're experiencing. So here's a perfect visual. She has a normal wire on her head. Her placement is really far down. Like her neck is probably an inch below where you see the top of this weft. What we recommend is that the halo goes right at the bend of your head or slightly above, especially if you're trying to blend something that's uh, more blunt or a shorter cut, you definitely want it to sit higher up on your head and it's more comfortable. So after we've tried all the things and it's still sitting too low, then the question is, is your wire too big? So she has on a normal wire that comes standard and it's on the third notch right now. So it's still sitting too low. If I were to bump it up to the fourth notch or the tightest, it's gonna buckle on the sides. So when I say buckling, it's this, when it gets a little bubble right above your ear and or it's sitting right on your ear, you need a shorter wire. So here's the difference of her wire and the wire it comes with. It's a good two inches shorter than what's standard. Now we have the shorter wire so we can put it on the loosest hook and she still has room to tighten it. This is the sectioning it should be, where it's just at the bend of your head and about one or two fingers behind the hairline. That way when you place it, it's not going anywhere and it's still sitting at a good height. You can drop the hair down, comb it over. When you're done combing, it still hasn't moved and it's still a good height for blending. So if this is you, we have another video on how to resize your wire at home. You just snip it and retie it. Um, if you're looking into ordering one, let me know ahead of time if you think you have a smaller head and I'll make sure to send a shorter wire.